In this video I'll show you how to send an SMS or RCS message from your Samsung Galaxy Android phone that is not sent instantly but it's scheduled for later. So how to send a scheduled SMS? You can do that easily with email but with SMS you can also do the same thing. This message here it was received with a schedule and you don't see on the other end of the phone how it looks like if it was scheduled or no. To send messages on a schedule on your Samsung device on your Samsung phone, starting with January 2025, you should use the Google Messages app. There was a Samsung Messages app or something similar, but they are discontinuing that from what I understand. And you should use, they are switching to the Google Messages app, which is great anyway. So you get the Google Messages app. You either already have the Google Messages app or you go to the Play Store. And this is the Play Store here. And you go there, you search for Google Messages, download the app that's from Google only and the messages up i open the messages up now i go to the sms chat that i want to look at and here this one is an rcs chat i receive this message as rcs and it's a test one and then test two 849 i received it at 849 and i, I had it scheduled at 849 so this was scheduled but i cannot see here if it was scheduled you, you won't see it only from when you send it if I want to reply to this message with a scheduled message to send it later, not now. Now it's 8.43 and I will put, this is autocorrect, so doesn't need to make sense. And now I have the message ready to be sent and I go here, this is the message to, it's going to send SMS here. So this could, you would normally switch between RCS and SMS. To send an SMS, it's okay. RCS or SMS is really the same thing, but RCS is sent through the internet and you don't get charged by the network operator, but SMS is a regular SMS. So if you want to send the SMS that is scheduled, you long press on the SMS button and you have this screen where it tells you scheduled send. EET, this is the time zone. Don't know. I guess this is the time zone that's on the phone. Later today at 5, later tonight at 10, at 9, and tomorrow at 8 in the morning. So if I wanted to send this message the next day, I could do that. Or I could select the custom date and time here. After choosing the date, I will choose 8.57, let's say. 56.57, let's, let's say that. Now this message here, it's going to be scheduled. It's not scheduled yet. I have to press on the button to send. It has this little like time option. So this I'm on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and I can schedule a message with the Google Messages app. And this is a text message here. And you could see you could hide the scheduled messages. You could even press on the scheduled message and see update it. You can change it. You can send it now. This is the option if you want to get rid of it to send it immediately or delete it. You can update the message. You can update the message, send it now to clear the schedule to send it immediately and to delete the message if you want to. I will keep it like this. So it should be sent in about and as you wait for the message to be sent, you can still change your mind. You can still not send it. And now that I got it from the other phone and I received the message on the other phone and you cannot tell when this message it was scheduled or no. This is really useful if you need to send a message the next day at 8 in the morning, but you don't remember, like you need to remember to send it. But if you want to do it now and get done with it, uh, finish with that uh, task, that thing to do, you can do it like this. You schedule the messages so you're more productive with this way. Thanks for watching.